Okay. Hi, a very good evening to all of you. So today with us, we have Shruti Sumant, who has got into Delhi School of Economics. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Shruti for taking out time and kind of sharing her experience with us for the entire journey. Thank you so much, Shruti. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Arthur Point. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Shruti, I, I'll just begin with a very first basic and general question about the about the feeling once you saw that you have got into D school, right? Uh, so what was the yes, feeling sir. like the moment you saw that? Uh, actually, I was not able to log in. Uh, my One of my friends, she told me the DSC cutoff. So she told that you already got into DSC, don't be, uh, just be worried. I checked it, I did so one day after, and then I got my name. So it was very good feeling. And I told my father and mother that, yes, okay, I'm not going to Pune. Instead of I'm going to Delhi because I already applied to Gokhale. Yeah. So my, my first plan was to go to Delhi already. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, because I, I remember the, the, the portal or the website wasn't responding that day. And yes. the students were not able to look at the respective results. Okay, so uh, Shruti, as far as I remember, uh, the very first exam of the year, gate economics, right? Uh, that didn't go that well, right? No. So uh, I, I know how tough it is when the very first exam doesn't go according to plan. And then you kind of pull yourself up and start the preparation even more rigorously and then to make it to D school. So what was your strategy uh, once you saw your result, the very first result of GATE and how did you approach the upcoming exams right after that? So first of all, we should clear the basics. So my, uh, already my basics were clear, but I need to practice more and more. So how many ma matter? It matters that whatever the questions you came up, when you asked to serve or whether to ma'am, Arju ma'am or to the Arun sir. So I used to practice the mock papers. As better the, for the mock papers, more you practice, more you can get the marks. So I thought that the mock paper is the last option for me to get into D school. That's it. Because for the gate, I didn't practice for the mock papers. Not mm -hmm. for, for uh, only one to two and three papers I worked at. But in COD, I practiced it twice. Because I was getting time, so I practice this voice. Okay, great. Achha. So, uh, Shruti, tell us about the background in terms of bachelors, where you pursued from, and uh, when exactly you decided. I know almost each and every student has D school as one of the top institutions in their list. Uh, so, if you could tell us or during which year or which semester you thought that D school is the one that where I like go forward to pursue my master's in economics and what's your bachelor's background oh so first of all i was undergraduate from ipcw delhi university so i thought of the giving the masters uh in the first or the second year because one of my seniors told me that the masters i think it is an excel for every eco students also in every background whether it is for the government side or whether you go for the corporate side so masters is must and even in my family, everyone has already done the masters, and uh, they have been they have been settled down. So I think the masters would be the best, and then I opted for it and and went it. Okay, great. So coming from that only, so what is your uh, future targets like? Do you want to go to government sector? Do you want to go to the corporate world? How exactly you look forward? So exactly, if I my plan was. Like if I'm not getting the D school, so I should go for the government. But if I'm already getting the D school, so every student know that it is very famous for the placements. Whether it, uh, if you want to go for the government also, so you can easily practice all the quant papers. You will be very excellent in D school. Uh, one of the seniors already told that D school is proper for the corporate also and for the government also. So right now I should choose for the corporate, but let's see in the future that if what it can happen. But I wanted to have a government job. But my father and uh, my mother is already telling me to go for the corporate. They okay. wanted to me okay. to be have a settled life. So uh, no, usually, usually you find parents telling uh, their, their children to go for a government sector to have even more secured yes. and reputed. So that's great. They are yes. pushing for the corporate one. Great, great. Okay, yeah, Shruti, tell me about about the 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 course structure that we designed. Okay. And how did you approach that course structure in terms of the, from let's say basic to intermediate and then advanced? 
So first of all, already it was been uh, ma'am told us that it is divided into the three parts that is basic, intermediate, and advanced. As you get more uh, in the other exams, like for the gates and the jam, you have to prepare for the intermediate and advanced. But for the CUT, you need to have the proper uh, in proper in the basics as well as in the intermediate. So, but my goal was to go for the D, D school. So I tried to do all the three as soon as possible. And I joined it late around September or around in August I joined. And it was late also. So I asked you also that, that uh, sir, it's very late for me to join, whether I would be able to do it or not. So, so you told me that you once you uh, uh, once you uh, just talk to ma'am also, once you message her. So no, okay, it's okay. Then whatever it went it, uh, she used to give all the lectures, uh, homework, she used to do it. And at the next class, I used to uh, ask. Correct. And then even to the sir also, I used to disturb him a lot. So what would we do? Okay, great. No, so so exactly. So you have to make be confident first thing first. Whenever you start, even at this stage, when students come, they say Ki, uh, the batch has started, how we'll be able to manage it. Hmm. So, it's very simple. Just keep it very simple, straightforward. Just be day, continuous daily approach to your preparation. Don't skip any day. And that should be good enough. Great. Okay, Ashwati. So uh, I know we have talked a lot in terms of different prospects. Chai wo post ke regarding ho. Chai wo guidance ho. Chai wo mentorship ho throughout the entire process. So how, how did in terms of our ecosystem made a difference in terms of preparation for you and how helpful was our mentorship for you during the entire tenure? Uh, yes, sir. It is. It is definitely. For any, even for the eco student or non-eco student, uh, Artha Pointers did a very hard work for everyone. And uh, whatever we have, whenever we used to message and we used to get the response as soon as possible. So I liked it that much that whether it's you or that it's a ma'am also. So it was the best for it was the best experience with you all. And I did whatever I can do that thank you sir. Thank you for everything. No That's doubt. it. So yeah, great. So whatever we try to help our students, we do that and we try to do it immediately. So that and that's why when you guys acknowledge it and share it among your peers, friends, so nothing extra we can ask for from you guys along with the results. Great. Okay, Shruti. So uh, now to the point where all the future aspirants who are starting, who have already started or who are about to start, what's your suggestion to them? It can be for not only for CUET to get into D school, it can be for any entrance exam, a basic, basic strategy proposition from your end to any student, any aspirant. So just, I think that it should be as, as simple as that, that you should practice each and every day. Clear your doubts as soon as possible. Whether you commit in math section stats or whether it is eco tricks or whether micro and macro, whatever it is, just clear your doubts as soon as possible. And be active in your group member that whether your friends are responding or you should share with your friends also. Uh, uh, it is very better. I think so. Bam also told that you should discuss within yourself also. So we used to discuss within it so i think keep it as simple and be consistent that's it and mm -hmm. have a proper timetable that's it great great so so exactly so the timetable and the continuity of your preparation is is very important and as far as i remember there can be gaps in between just if there's a festival let's say there is a new year let's yes, say. Yes. there will be breaks and you need oh. to carry on after taking that particular break okay Okay, Shruti. So, uh, anything that uh, I, I would say ki in terms of when you go to D school, right? Okay. Uh, you know the course curriculum. You know everything. Mm -hmm. Regressive it is. Was it at any point of time, chai wo shuru mein ho ya abhi ho, that you doubted yourself ki ni kaise hoga? How will I be able to uh, carry on this and will, how will I be able to pull it off, right? Was there any doubt or you were determined enough from day one? Uh, no, yes, sir. I was feeling a very bit doubt because one of my seniors already told that in the first year, uh, we uh, we have uh, many uh, students who couldn't pass an examination and they, I think so they have to again appear for the exam. So it was, it is a quite uh, frightened me a, a bit, but 
that map, but seniors told me that you should practice it. Practice is the only survival for you. Practice and as good as and ask your teacher, be connected to them. Okay. How okay. how much you would be and that would be the better for you. And be, I think so, be attentive in it. That you should not be at the home or at the PG room, but you should attend your classes as regularly. So exactly. all seniors have told me the same. Yeah, so the reason, the reason I asked this question uh, okay. from you is because at this stage, many students are doubting I would say they are not doubting D school, but they are doubting themselves, which shouldn't be the case because they feel it is very tough. How will be able to do it? How will survive? So the moment the answer comes from you, it's it's even more uh, motivating and satisfying for those students. And I guess they will be able to make the right decision uh, post this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So I'll I'll just uh, close the session with the last question. So. Uh, now that you know you have to start your session at D school sometime in the month of August, okay? so what's in between? How how you are making the entire transition from your hometown to D, D school now? So what's the plan in between? So actually now I'm residing in Jharkhand. So ah. already uh, Jharkhand uh, and uh, I've already told my parents that I have to go in Delhi for two weeks before because I have to see PG or whether it's a rental room, anything I have to see for me. So I have planned it out and I need to book the tickets. That's it. But uh, I'll get it as soon as possible because many other students are already coming out and uh, we have to get the earlier as soon as possible for the collection of documents and all. Exactly. So for this, for the one month, I think so, this would be happening with me around it. Cool, cool, sure. Okay, Shruti, thank you so much for your time once again. And we wish best of luck to you for all your future endeavors. And like we always tell all our students, uh, ki even though the course is over, right, we are still there connected with all of you in case there is any requirement, yes. any help, you already know that we are just a WhatsApp or a call away and we'll be there to help you, guide you in whatever capacity possible. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.